Mike Moore Media. Terry Snyder is founder of Operation North State. Hey, Terry, welcome back. Hey, Mike, thanks for having me. It's crazy times we're in, but you say you are crazy busy right now. What's going on at Operation North State? Well, it, it certainly is, and, um, yeah, we, you know, typically this time of year is busy for us. We're, we're getting wounded warriors, disabled veterans out, some kind of recreational activity, be it fishing, golf, cycling. Some of those have been shut down. Some of them we have encouraged for them to continue to do it one-on-one or on their own. But uh, we are going to bring back one of our fishing festivals that was canceled in the spring, but bringing it back. And then we're wide open in our 11th year with our NC Cares Christmas Box Project. You know, I remember when we first talked, probably about 11 years ago, Terry, when we did a a radio program, and that NC Cares Christmas Box has just uh, been such a a godsend to so many thousands over the years. But you're, you're retooling, so what are you doing this season? Yeah, well, what we're having to do with that, we've had a couple of things thrown on us, and uh, it's regarding uh, the NC Cares Christmas Box Project is sending 1,500 care packages to North Carolina's deployed troops. Everything in it, they're going to know it's from North Carolina because when they open it up, it's all about North Carolina. Letters from the governor, letters from the senators, from children, veterans, and everything else. So there's messages in there. And then there's North Carolina goodies. And uh, that has been a hit, like I said, going on. 10 full years now, but the issue now is with the virus hitting and everything, we actually have bases and installations throughout the world that aren't accepting packages. If they are accepting, they might quarantine them so the items will get out of date. And uh, so it's just a little bit of a mess from that side. But we're not going to stop the project because we have so much support for that project and items coming in. But instead, we're going to take those 1,500 boxes and we are going to get them in the hands of veterans that are shut in, veterans that are in nursing homes. And these aren't just for every veteran. It's, it's not that we don't want to give it to them, but we've already got a demand for over 1,500. So it's truly going to be for veterans that are shut in. And let's let them know that us here in North Carolina appreciate what they're doing. And so that's how we're retooling it this year. Okay. Well, that's going to be great. It sounds like uh, kind of reaching up, still reaching our, our wounded warriors and disabled vets, but in, in another in another way. That's that's a great idea. Well, and, and the other thing is, too, I mean, we've been telling people for years and years, if you've got a deployed loved one, um, I'm right the North State, we'll do all we can, but don't be waiting on us to get a box to your loved ones. I mean, find a church, find a friend yourself do what you can to keep those packages going to them and right now like i said the families and loved ones need to step it up because it's not just operation north state it's any it's any support organization right now we're all been kind of told that's hands off and so we're just retooling and we're real excited about it and the support coming in is off the chart and the corporations we're hearing from and the family members of the shut-ins are saying, just thank you, thank you for what you're doing and recognize the veterans. So we're real excited about it. Sure. Well, we're excited with you. And, and you've mentioned uh, over the years, too, about the different corporations involved. Uh, how many do you have uh, this year? And do you need to mention some of those? Yeah, I would. But at the same time, please, for the ones I don't mention, it's just a slight of my mind, not that we don't care, but... I mean, if, if you first of all go to Operation North State and look, look at the photo album, there should be 10 photo albums. There's hundreds of them out there now. But look up one of the NC Cares Christmas Box Projects, and you're going to see who some of those supporters are. But I'm just trying to think, you know, uh, you, you've got Bojangles in there. you got Lance Crackers in there. Uh, you got Texas Pete. Uh, you got the... I mean, it's on and on and on. But I think well, I think we had 27 different items uh, in the box, and we literally almost can't shut the lid on the box. So North Carolina has been very good to us, and I just don't want to slide anybody. But uh, go to that go to that photo album, and you'll see who they are. Okay, that's great. Yeah, I love the photo albums that you have on uh, on your website, Operation North State, and on your Facebook page. It's great to look at those. Uh, give us a little bit more information. Uh, a lot of things you haven't been able to do, like other groups as well, uh, during this pandemic. But tell us a little bit more about that fishing tournament you are planning. 
Yeah, the, the, the only fishing festival we're going to, we do eight of these a year throughout North Carolina. It's really, it's unmatched anywhere really in the, in the country. And uh, where we're using different venues and different communities throughout the state. But the one we are going to bring back, it's going to be on Randleman Lake. Uh, we're going to have we're going to have 50 to 55 what we call host boaters. These are very good anglers, good equipment, know what they're doing. They'll put a wounded warrior, disabled veteran, on their boat, and uh, we're going to be doing that uh, next Tuesday. And the wounded warriors, disabled veterans are just so excited. Uh, they've been looking so forward to it, and that is funded. It is ready to go, and I'm actually sitting in my warehouse right now picking up, up items for that. And then we're doing some golf. Um, we've got um, we've got what we call foursomes for heroes, and we actually these are bucket list golf outings for our veterans, wounded warriors, and disabled veterans that have some golf games, love the game, they're passionate about it, and we've got clubs and communities stepping up, and they're hosting them to a foursome, and um, that's just that's the third year for that, and it's pretty awesome too. I tell you, it's all about uh, just a team effort, isn't it, Terry? really is I'm, I, oh my gosh and i mean from the from the top down none of us make a dime i've never had anybody you know even say let's make this about me even our title sponsors when they help us and make an event truly happen or a community it wouldn't happen without that community getting behind it nobody's asking about make me top dog they all get it it's for our wounded warriors disabled veterans and our deployed troops wow well we certainly support our men and women thank you to them for their service Anything else before we finish up? Buddy, that, that's kind of it. Like I said, we're going to have roller skates on the rest of the year. And if, <laughs> if you if you out there as a listener would like to help in some way, get some items in the NC Cares Christmas Box Project, I try to tell everybody, North Carolina, this is your box. It doesn't matter if it's product coming from a corporation or your church or your place of work with a box in the break room. Let's collect some items. And we'll get all those items into our NC Cares Christmas box. So, North Carolina, this is your box. We'd love to have you. Okay, Terry, thanks to you and your team and uh, all the businesses and individuals uh, involved in making it happen. Always good to talk to you, and we'll talk again next month. All right, Mike. Take care. Thank all right. you. You too, sir. Bye. Terry Snyder, founder of Operation North State. What great work they continue to do, even in these challenging times with our wounded warriors and disabled veterans. Again, check out their website, Operation North State. Same thing on their Facebook page. Look at those photo albums. You see some of their good work. That's Operation North State.